most important protective apparel worn by dirt bike riders, besides a helmet, is their boots. Over the years, the demands of Monster Energy Supercross have led to huge advancements in boot engineering and materials. So I'd say the biggest challenge is essentially finding that perfect blend between protection and freedom of movement, all while keeping everything as lightweight and breathable as possible. Especially in Supercross, you know, there's such high, high G loads in the, in the rhythm lanes, in the whoops. Having control with your feet and protection is, is a really big deal, so boots are very important. The boot's main chassis, that's comprised of five different densities. It's gonna be more flexible in certain areas while providing more protection in others. Another key design element is uh, this cutout here on the uh, the ball of the rider's foot, which as you can see, does provide some sort of uh, you know flexibility. Being able to fill your shifter, because that's huge. If you don't fill your pegs right or your shift point, you know, there's, there's a price to pay. Especially the brake pedal, you know, and really helping in dial in and modulate the braking pressure required to maintain traction. In the sole, there is a steel shank, you know, obviously to help provide support from any impacts to the rider's foot arch. And then here inside the heel, we have the, the DHCP, which really helps mitigate and prevent any sort of impact energy from going up through the heel and up the rider's leg. Whether they over jump or come up short in case a jump, once the rider comes down and their ankle bends, you know, that really helps reduce that impact force in a tremendous way. It does also feature an internal biomechanical foot brace. It allows the boot and rider's foot to flex while preventing any sort of torsional uh, flexing or twisting of the boot. Whatever Eli Tomac can put a boot through, if it can withstand that torture, then the average rider can obviously benefit from that same level of protection.